to those next two here, and welcome to Off, a game that I've heard about for a very long time, and never got to playing it, never looked at anything about it, all I know is there's a guy with a baseball bat, and he's called the Batter. And this is made on the same engine that Liso is made on, and probably thousands of other games, because RPG Maker is pretty popular. I did not read that at all, so that's good. It's very good. Caution, it is possible certain scenes in this game may prove shocking to an unwarned public, or maybe not. The soundtrack and sound effects of Off, created by Alex Conrad Coldwood, are, as important, are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. <laughs> well, I love me some soundtrack, so I will not miss out. Enter your name. N. I. C. K. Nick. Yes. I'm boy. Welcome, Nick. You've been assigned to being called the batter. The batter is on a mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let both of you go in, out in zone zero. Good luck. For more information, just find the one called the judge. The judge? Batter? Zero? Zone? These are all things I don't get. But they will make sense eventually. Two of my bodies the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the spacebar or the enter key. Okay. That's a fun looking world. Cool. I don't know how I feel about this water sound. Hi there. Oh. There cannot be any living beings in zone zero, hence I, del I deduce that you are pure figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illus illusory interlocutor. I'm the batter. I've been entrusted with a sacred mission. It is a pleasure, although it will not be the body. This is not the body I was addressing, but the soul that it harbors. What is your name, controller? His name is Nick. He can't talk to us. However, he can see and hear everything. Even though you too are but an imaginary specter in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Nick. We believe we need your help. I believe I may need your help. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see, but what sort of service can I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laughable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area. If it is of all, if is it, uh, if it is of any help to you, thanks. Oh, well, he just flew away. Also, what? I want to purify the world. What does that even mean? Quite peculiar. Okay. I don't know. He looks like a goat. What's this way? It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Luck ticket has been found. What the hell's that? Harold bat? So this is just like Lisa then. Yep. Class savior. Purifier. Pure. Okay. Competence? No clue what it does. Recovers a moderate amount of HP. Okay, well that's what it does. Top. Allow me to inform you that I find you quite tangible for a phantom as more phantom magorial being might you be might you in fact be a person of flesh and blood i think so then it was mistaken from the beginning and you did not even interrupt me in my fanciful fa fantasm this is relatively bizarre i must say for you are the first living being i was given to encounter in this place i had incidentally concluded that zone zero was an empty land it is all too obvious that i was led astray However, there exist other zones, and in those territories, hostile individuals might attack you most violently. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to acquaint you with some of the arts of violent confrontation? Okay. This is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right-hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, is in case true, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, your choice will be presented to you. You have to, you have to decide between attack or auto. 
Naturally, attack allows you to engage the fight in a classical fashion. With all those your choice, the computer will make the strategic decision in your place, turning you into a simple spectator. But now it's time to make the attempt. Choose attack, select the batter, and then choose attack anew to slay me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not restrain itself, and I fear I would die, taking the secrets with me to the grave. So if I go on auto right now, he'll just die straight up. So let's not do that, because I don't know what the hell this game's about yet. Excellent, dear sportive companion. Know that both the level of the batter and of that of his opponent depends on the impact of your soul. It is also very possible for your adversaries to sly, sly, slyly avoid the offensive move you will exchange. Finally, on occasion, your concrete will may allow you to release a critical strike, causing teeth to fly in heaps. But let us proceed if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you first chose attack upon selecting the batter, a new window opened itself in the lower right hand corner of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack lets you carry out a soul strike against a likewise soul avatary. Competence permits you to use one of your special talents. Yep, I know what this all means. I'm kinda done reading it. So I hit him. He wants me to use an object. Yep, I'm tired of reading this garbage, so I'm done. Any use of competence leads to consumption of comp competence points, so I suggest you use your skills with parsimony. Once your CP is, conf is consumed, it will be impossible to carry out new heavy assaults. And if, by some mischance, you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent, before recovering some CP, your victory will be uncertain. Let's try the way, competence tracing attack. Okay. Wide angle. A cryptic fel feline of odd appearance, HP 300, no weaknesses, resistance. You now, you now know not only all about my attributes, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle known as, know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked down for a long time. The confrontation ends theoretically when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you'll be ready to dispose of all impure obstacles that dare to appear in your luminous mission's way. While supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing with bat blows to an innocent cat. But it, it as. But be it as easy as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. That was a lot of reading and he just shot straight into the sky, so that was cool. What is this? Oh yes, the pass through will be necessary to use your cerebral organ correctly. You know, the one b bathing fallibly in your cranium. I don't like hearing that in the side of my ear right now. I think that these floating blocks correspond in some way or another to the symbol you can see on the wall. So one, two, oh, do I just press them in order? Three, four. That's it. Do not like how my heart beat in my ears the beat to the song. Is there a problem, oh dear charming hero? I cannot do everything in your place. I'm not your genteel after all. Nonetheless, may I perhaps dare suggesting you to try activate some of these floating blocks more than once, if so required. So hurry, solve this intriguing obstacle in post haste, if you please. I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. The so one, 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 two. So that wanted. It's one, two. Okay, that's wrong. So one. One, two. Wait, how the fuck does this work? So I press this once. One, two. One. And one. Oh, it just means. Okay, I thought you had to press them the same amount of times that you see them. It's just like that. Okay. Ah, uh, finally, after all the effort, a long awaited reward makes its entrance to the scene. It's impossible to get around. Wait, so there's another puzzle here. Wait, I think I know where the answer to this one is. It's here. Oh, wait. A piece of silver flesh has been found. Okay. 
four four eight two eight seven C what? Four four eight two eight seven three. I'm assuming that's a three or a zero. Four four eight two eight seven zero. So four four Okay, we did it. What is that? Here we have an accessory that will prove especially useful to your purifying quest. Dear enlightened student and supportive friend. It is a cube floating in the air. As you probably know this, nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from your tilk. By the contrast of its clashing colors, assaulting your gaze with bad taste and defying a sensible course of plastic arts. Do not judge it too quickly, however, for despite its for the sizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from restoring the entirety of your health and confidence points, it's capable of saving your progress and sending you to nothingness. The nothingness is a place of transition outside the space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it for yourself in order to discover locations more populous than the deserted land. Open your wings my dear companion and fly towards the following zones without hesitation your only enemy is the fear that will grab you okay do not worry yourself i too travel much between the different zones of the world perhaps we will come to meet again ah uh, by the by take this this item of, of a curious name will be the key that shall permit you to enter zone one have i clarified that you can at any moment consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key leo card Waiting? What? What's the Leo card? Whatever. Health point, confidence points restored. Let's save. Boink. Let's go to nothingness. Yep. I mean... Oh, these are the zones. Zone 2. Zone 3. Wow, I don't enjoy that. The room is impossible to answer. You need the adequate Zodiac card. Don't enjoy that sound. Oh, it's raining. Make a save right here. And uh, let's go up here. What's up, buddy? Tramway number one is very useful means of transport to get to the different areas of zone one. Damien, that's all I can go to, so. I guess there are people, I don't know. There appears to only be three zones, so this game probably isn't gonna be long. But there's also the room, so I don't know. What's up, buddy? Tramway number two hasn't been coming for a long time. That's a pain. Let's see what's in the zone. Oh, um, uh, a visitor. I, uh, welcome to the smoke mines. Uh, may I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter? The impure spirits? Are you some sort of prophet? Or perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. I, who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by Nick. Uh, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior personnel. In any case, that's good. That means our request has been approved. Come, I'm going to explain the task. Old fashioned photo? What's this about? Um, you are here in the smoke mines of Damien in the south of zone number one. What am I looking at? What are these? Here we send laborers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from around, from the ground, freeing trapped smoke from the depths. Is there currency smoke? Like what? Using various tools, we put some of it into this bottle, which the queen sends to the other zones. Okay. The rest of it flows free and forms the air that our lungs inhale and exhale, uh, so we can live. It's an essential element, the first among the four elements. So their first element is smoke. This is some backwards avatar logic. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. And uh, there we are, and so, well, uh, how do I put this? We are the impures. 
Uh, yes, there we go. There are many specters in the mines, and they're getting more and more aggressive. But uh, in fact, it would be good if you wouldn't if you wouldn't go there because the regulations forbid access to smoke mines for visitors. So uh, here's what we're going to do. There's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to. But a miner went in there for some some time ago, and he said he saw something strange. He said nothing like the usual. So I thought maybe that's the leader of the specters. Uh, so there we are. If you expect. If you accept, you'll go into the Annex Mine and kill the leader of the Spectres. Then the Spectres will disappear and we can work properly again. There we go. There there we go. There are we. Uh, do you have any questions? No. Ah, uh, great. Impeccable. The tunnel's right down there. Me, I will wait for you here. Why does everyone in this game talk so weird? Also, that is the biggest staircase I've ever seen. And I do not enjoy it. But, um, that's gonna be it for now. This is the first episode. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Next episode, we will go into this mine and kill the Spectre King. And uh, don't forget to check out my Discord. Link is on the channel. Uh, Twitter's link is below. See you all next time. Bye, guys.